Hey, Aaron here from Superior Singing Method, and hopefully you've been paying attention with the channel and what's been going on. We have some new vocal coaches assisting me, some amazing vocal coaches. So, you know, hit the notification bell if you haven't had a chance to and subscribe and all that stuff. Rachel's gonna be doing the lesson today, and I'm really excited because I haven't said a lot about it. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it, but the idea is expanding your chest voice, of being able to sing higher notes with more and more power than just flipping into your, your head voice right away. So I'm gonna let her take it away. Here we go. Thanks so much, Aaron. Like he said, my name is Rachel and I'm one of the coaches here at Superior Singing Method. And today I'm gonna to be talking with you about how to expand your chest range. Now I know that there are some different philosophies about this on expanding the chest range and what the chest range is. So I'm just gonna sort of break down the way that I think about it. The chest range, it's called the chest range because oftentimes it's running from our chest, right? And so we kind of feel this vibration here. Um, but oftentimes what I'm finding with singers is it's really living in their throat. When they're singing in their huh, in their huh, in their chest range is actually living here, which can be really damaging for your voice. This is how a lot of singers will get vocal nodules is because they're singing out of their throat. So we wanna get you out of your throat. I've talked before in some other videos about placement. And we wanna think about when, once we've taken a breath, we wanna channel the breath into the front of our face. This is the placement I'm talking about, sort of isolating in this mask space. So we're gonna take your chest range out of your out of your throat if that's where you're singing and first of all you want to place it here right so that's step number 1 and then once we've have it here once we've isolated in this mask area to in order to expand it we want to run it sort of in like like if you can imagine there's like this line or this railway sort of running right in the front of your face not back here you want to think about it in the front of your body or the front of your uh, of your face. So when the breath comes up here, it runs here. And you can actually sing in a higher um, in a higher range with your chest range if you run it this way. Now, when I break down also and think about the the semantics of the chest voice, the chest voice really in reality is just like your louder, more powerful voice. That's really what it is. So people will talk about the head voice and then people will talk primarily about the chest voice. And the chest voice is just this more powerful sound that you can produce. And um, what we wanna be able to do is be able to run it just a little bit higher because so often we default really early, in my opinion, we default to our head voice. So when you're going up, instead of going back into your head voice, right? We sort of freak out sometimes, right? We're like, ah, it's getting too high. And so we go back into our head voice. And what I want you to think about is I want you to think about running forward or going forward. It's just like life, right? When we're fearing something, we tend to retreat but the experts will tell you, you go into the storm, right? You run forward or into it. And it's the same thing with singing. So as you're going up this line with your chest voice up into your head range, I want you to think about how can I narrow this or keep it forward in the mask? Now, the higher that you go with your, with your chest voice um, up into here in your head range, you want to think about narrowing. When you expand your chest range in your lower voice, you wanna think about relaxing, also keeping it forward, think about nasal, but think about relaxing. Because oftentimes what we do when we go lower is we'll go nya, 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 and I tense up and it kind of bottoms out, right? It goes down into my throat, like down in here. But if I go nya, 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 that's about as low as I can go. But I'm telling you, right, or down to an E flat. I'm telling you, when I was in high school, I couldn't sing below a G, a G below middle C. And I've taken that down at least a half an octave. I can go just because I've learned how to relax my throat and kind of just take it uh, and keep it nasal, really. So I'm gonna do some exercise with you today because again, I think that singing is the best context for learning. So we're gonna do some of these exercises so you have a way to practice some of these methods or concepts. So this first, yep, let me just look at it. Um, I mean, it's delightful. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 
um, so this first exercise is one that I do quite often. This is the teeth together singing. And so, and it's literally that. So we're gonna keep our teeth together as we sing. And we're just gonna go up three notes and down. It's just a small range so we can really focus on keeping this here. And again, when you're going up uh, and, and down, I want you to really think about pulling it into your nose a little bit, right? Especially as you get higher. So we're gonna go, Nyah. we're gonna sing, Nyah. but with your teeth together. So, And you're gonna feel a little bit of a buzzy sensation in the front of your face. You're gonna go, Nyah, 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 Nyah. so we're saying Nyah, N-Y-A-H is how you would spell that, I guess, Nyah. But you're going to, and you're, you can make the vowels with your tongue, but your teeth are gonna to stay together, so you primarily stay here. And this is how we're gonna get into that higher range. So we're gonna go, nya, 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 and up, 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 Nya, 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 nya. And do you hear how I'm keeping it very forward here? So try not with your chest voice to go nya, 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 uh, right? You can feel it when it kind of sits back in here in your throat, even when your teeth are together. But the teeth help, that's why we do the teeth together, because it helps keep it forward. But try to avoid having any sort of tension or sensation here, right? For the teeth together, try to avoid this, <laughs> right? No, 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 right? Relax, just relax everything. Relax your throat, relax your your shoulders, and just try to keep all of the tension in the front of your in the front of your face. I lost where I was there. Okay, we're on an E flat, so we're gonna go nya, 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 nya. Keep going. Nya, 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 nya. And if you want to scrunch your face up a little bit with your teeth together, that's great. That actually really helps me, especially as I'm going up into this higher range. Nya, 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 nya. Keep those teeth. Nya, 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 nya. Keep going. Nya, 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 nya. Keep going. Nya, 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 nya. This is about where before where my head voice would have taken over, nya, 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 right, that thing. We don't want it to go back. Remember, we run into the storm. So go forward with it. And right here, I'm almost feeling it like in my nostrils. When I go to that higher note, nya, 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 that's right there, that's the break. I, I, it's almost like I flip over into it. So nya, 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 right there. Nya, 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 nya. Right there, I feel it right here. That's where you should be feeling it. So joystick your cheeks or whatever you need to do to keep the voice. It gets a little narrower as you go higher, right? So that's what you should be feeling. Nya, 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 right there. Nya, 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 nya. So now I am in my head voice. So you can hear that, and I, and I might need to just pull my teeth apart just a little bit because sometimes it can put pressure on your throat if you have your teeth together when you're in your higher range here. So you can pull them apart a little bit, but really try to keep the sensation there. Now, as you, again, this is a flip in. So as I'm going, nya, 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 it's very delicate. So go really smoothly over into this point on that, that higher note as, as we expand up into it. It's, it's your head range, but it'll sound like your chest range if you're, if you flip into it. Nya, nya, nya. Now see, I actually did the wrong thing. Nya, I went nya, and I pulled it down. My jaw pulled it down, so you want to go forward with it. Nya, 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 nya. Nya, 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 nya. It's a flip into your nostrils. Let's do two more, because this is high. Nya, 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 nya. And one more. Nya, nya. You know what this reminds me of? You know, Frankie Valli was brilliant at this. This is how he was able to sing so high and it sounded like his head range sounded like chest range with such a forward sound because he was able to keep it here. Like, Sherry baby. He ran everything here in the front of his face and that's why he was able to get such a powerful sound. 
Now, I want to take us down because while you keep it really narrow, the higher that you're getting, when you're moving down to expand your chest range and your lower range, again, you want to relax because so often we go, oh, no. Oh, we do like, we tend to resort, <laughs> resort to this, right? We sort of bottom out here and tense up. And so you don't want to do that. You want to keep it really, keep everything nice and relaxed. And we're just going to move one note at a time. Um, so I'm going to start on a middle C. We're just going to same thing, teeth together. And now down to a B. I do same thing, just relax. Running it out of here and down. Keep going. Keep it really forward. Keep it forward. Keep going down. One. Now, see, before I wasn't able to hit this G because I go. Again, you want to go, it's so delicate. It's so delicate, but just keep it right here. Just, just gently. It's almost like it's sort of like wafts in there, right? And let's see if we, let's see if we can get lower today. Keep going, rest your teeth and your bottom lip. Again, everything is resonating here. Nothing is in my throat at all. Going, Nyo. Nyo. To see the temptation is I want to go down there. Don't go down to your throat. Keep it right here. Let it resonate. Let's do one more. Just because we're being bold today. Nyo. That one is literally only vibrating in my nose. And so that's what you will find um, as you as you expand your chest range into your into your head voice and down into your lower range. Just keep it really forward. You'll find that it's it's a delicate little space, but you'll have so much more presence to your voice the more that you can use your chest range in your head, in your head space, really, and in your lower range as well. I am so excited for you to do these exercises and see what you're able to discover about your own voice. That's really what your practice time should be. It's all about exploration. Just being able to get in there and sort of discover the crevices within your face and your breathing and all of these things, and then memorize the feeling. As I've said, the voice is invisible, so this is about muscle memory. It's about memorizing what you feel and what works, and then doing that over and over on repetition. Thanks so much for joining us today, Anna. Before you go, don't forget to click the link below because we've made this awesome quiz for you. This is the singing killer quiz because there are things out there that are actually stealing your voice from being able to, to flow freely. So if you click on the link below and take the singing killer quiz, we are going to help you identify what that singing killer is. And then we will send you a video that will be personalized just for you to help you correct that singing killer. And so your voice can flow freely and you can sing your best. Also, don't forget to click on the notification bell above and also follow us, subscribe, because we want to be on this journey with you. Thanks so much. Click the link and we'll see you guys next time.